Hey, it's Josh. Today I want to talk about some thoughts that I've been having around project organizational structures and just kind of share share with you some of the thoughts that I've been having recently. So here's an example of what you would think of as a traditional organizational chart, whether it's with a project or, you know, team, you know, uh, whatever whatever the organization is. And I guess what I've what I've been struggling with with org charts is that they seem to be more geared towards uh, really showing where the authority lies in a project than how the teams actually work together. And that's that's the the thing that I've been trying to get around with. How do you represent this to to look this way? So a couple things that I've noticed is that with a traditional org chart like this, you get you get a lot of focus up here on the top level structure you know which you know the people up here are concerned about that but to the people who are doing the actual work a lot of that seems pretty nebulous and they seem a little bit unrepresented or underrepresented on these things I think so if you look down here here's the folks that are actually doing the work and the management structure is kind of highlighted more than anything else so been thinking about that a little bit and figuring out how to represent an organizational structure on a project to to show a little bit more about how we work together as a team and not so much how we're structured this way. And I guess the other thing that led me to this is that on my project teams I try to uh, the view that I have is that I'm a facilitator for the team and so I Every time that I see an org chart like this, and my name is up on top, and my team is listed down below me, I just don't like it. It doesn't doesn't feel right to me. So using mind mapping, this is a this is a program called XMind, and there's a free version of it avail available. That's what I'm using. You can also buy a uh, buy a version that has more features. So essentially, what I'm doing is starting with the project in the middle. And then I just I'm assuming a pretty complex project here, so I've got multiple segments. I've got a left segment and a right segment, support services, just as an example here. And within each of those segments, I've got teams defined, and then I've got um, the first and last names and some pictures in here as well. And the thing that I really like about this structure is that <clears throat> it's not a top-down structure, and even though it may not seem like a big deal. I really like the fact that the it starts from the inside and goes out and so which I think I think the difference here is that the structure tends to be focused over here the structure is focused up here in the top and in a mind map like this I the your eyes are drawn to the structure over here within the teams quite a bit more than than it is right there so the other thing about mind mapping is that you can use it to essentially and if in X in X mind if you hit the F6 when you're highlighted on something so if I go to let's go to the right segment then you'll get a snapshot of just what's in the right segment and if I go into the green system you'll see that we have the leaf team the tree team and the grass team so this can be a way for someone to navigate through this organizational structure and if I go into the tree team you can see that it's got this kind of spiral effect here where it's not this person you know maybe this person is the one who actually leads the team or you know is the project manager or the lead engineer whatever it is but this kind of has that approach of of treating everyone on the team like like equals essentially which is the way that I like to look at things think about things in the way that I like to work the other thing that's nice about a tool like this you can do things like I'm gonna to go to file export I'm gonna export it as an HTML sample and this is something that you can share with the team it's easy to navigate so here's the entire project if you're interested in that or you can get down into the individual teams take a look at everyone what are they doing how do the people work together what are the real teams here uh, it's not working in this version but there are hyperlinks as well so you can have kind of a table of contents so that's my video tell me what you think